Coming up right now on SUTV News, a ship student is reported missing. And our local sheets battles controversy. Is it legal to sell alcohol where you can buy gas? It's all right now. Hello and thanks for joining us on SUTV News. I'm Laquan Chapman. And I'm Holly Herr. Shippensburg Borough Police continue to investi investigate an armed robbery that occurred last Saturday. Police say the robbery happened at 4 a.m. on North Queen and McClay Avenue when an unknown armed man appeared from behind a building. The man approached the victim and demanded money. The man struck the victim's face several times with a gun before fleeing. The police say he is an African-American male in his 20s, around 6 feet tall. He has short dark hair and slight facial hair. Anyone with information regarding this robbery is asked to contact Borough Police at 717-532-7361 or by email at police at shippensburg.pa.us. Shippensburg University student Megan Hauser was reported missing this week. Thankfully, she was found a few hours later and is back safe with her family. This incident serves as a good reminder of how careful students must be on a college campus. Amanda Trevel tells, tells us more. With a robbery this week and a missing person, Shippensburg students should take extra precaution. These incidents are good reminders never walk alone at night or leave doors and windows unlocked. If you're traveling at night, you don't want to be by yourself. It's best to go with a group. Don't don't walk around campus um, with your cell phone to, to your ear or texting so you're not aware of your surroundings. Be aware of your surroundings. Be aware if there's anything suspicious or concerning to you. If there is, call the police department. You know. Megan Hauser's disappearance thankfully ended with her being found safe. But if you would ever need to report a missing person, there are several different approaches. Normally, you have to wait 24 hours without contact with a person to report them missing. When parents call and feel there is a risk, campus police take immediate action. You can register someone as your emergency contact in case you go missing, okay? And if that's a friend, you come in here, you register the, that person, and we look it up and we say, well, yes, you're registered as the person who this, this individual is saying can report them as missing. Um, if a friend other than that other than that person comes in, we're still going to take a look at it. We're still going to you know do the best we can to see what we can find out. Um, a parent comes in, of course, I mean there's there's really no difference. It's just a, ma a matter of um, how much information we may, may be able to have and how far we can go with it. Shippensburg is a safe campus according to the annual safety brochure with little crime. The Public Safety Department and Police Department are open 24 hours a day. For SUTV, I'm Amanda Treeple. If you see any suspicious activity, always call the SU Police at 477-1444, or you can use the blue emergency phones located throughout campus. After a suspension in beer sales at the Sheets on East King Street, a Cumberland County judge issued an order for granting the store's liquor license after the after the store was opened in July, the Civic Club of Shippensburg raised concerns about a liquor <coughs> license granted to an establishment that also sells gas. They filed an appeal, but a judge ruled that because the Sheets property is subdivided into two units, each have separate tax assessments, real estate numbers, and addresses. The separation allows for sale of gas and alcohol. The borough of Shippensburg also had a say in determining any detrimental impact on the community. They ruled in favor of the license transfer. The store is now the second location in Pennsylvania where Sheets can sell beer. Coming up on SUTV, on-campus housing can anticipate a new feature for cable TV. And John Schaefer has the update on the U.S. and ISIS. It's coming up next. College can be a stressful experience, and sometimes students just want to watch their favorite television shows. With two new additions to campus TV, students can now watch their TV shows on their schedule. Matt Truss tells us more. 
Students in on-campus housing have recently been granted the programs HBO Go and Philo, which allow nearly 100 hours of DVR recordings. Bill Yost explains. Uh, when we first announced it in, uh, in RA training to all of our staff, it was a pretty awesome celebration. Uh, a lot of students, RAs, very excited about the, the proposal and um, we were able to make it happen this semester, thankfully, with uh, Philo. Well, so everybody loves all the programming on HBO and uh, we wanted to make sure that students had the ability to easily go through the process of signing in and um, collecting and getting all the, uh, all the programming available to them. The new on-campus additions have received nothing but positive feedback. Because kids are always in class and if they're in clubs or in sororities or fraternities, they don't have time to watch their own movie. If it's on TV, that now that they can DVR, they can actually watch their favorite shows. Um, sometimes you just need to watch a TV show to kind of get your mind back to where it needs to be uh, so that you can focus on your schoolwork or other things that you may be involved with. So uh, we feel it's a very positive thing. Uh, it sets us apart from other off-campus housing. Well, me personally, I'm really into um, Halloween stuff, so anything that comes on on Halloween, and I want to get back into Game of Thrones because I've been missing out on that since I've been actually studying. Matt Trust, SU. TV. Students can find directions on how to access the Philo information in Bill Yost's email that was sent on the 21st. Shippensburg University students have access to many services. In this week's Student Services Focus, we take a look at the Residence Hall Association and the Raider Regional Transit. Julie Wiegand has more. The Residence Hall Association, or RHA, is a governing and programming board that represents the residential students. Members of RHA hold executive positions in their individual hall councils and collectively come together. RHA offers a safety escort bus service that runs all week from 7 p.m. to 1 a.m. To contact RHA, email rha at ship.edu. The bus can be contacted at 717-377-5985. Speaking of buses, the Raider Regional Transit Local Bus System, or RRT, serves the university and community. Buses stop at local shopping areas and the Chambersburg Mall. RRT has red and blue routes, each with different schedules. Make sure to check for route signs on and over the windshield to distinguish buses. Waving to the driver at the bus stop indicates that you'd like to board. They are located throughout campus and the community. Bus fare is free to ship employees and students with their student ID. Those who don't have ship IDs can ride for $1.25 per one-way trip. Bus services are available Monday through Saturday and also Tuesdays and Thursdays during campus breaks. This is Julie Wiegand, SUTV News. You can find more transportation information and RRT schedules on SHIP's website. From a World War II veteran who's fighting for his life all over again to Chile that gave a man more than his share, John Schaefer is in the studio with your weekly world news. Our country, thanking them for the work they do to keep us safe. Two men from Indiana, however, do not. Justin Lawson and Joseph Lowe broke into the home of 94-year-old Herschel Moore on Monday while he was asleep. The pair savagely beat Moore and then stole thousands of dollars. A World War II veteran, Herschel was unable to defend himself and claims he has never seen the men in his life. The two are currently behind bars, and Herschel is recovering at home with his family by his side. The United States continues to retaliate against the ISIS regime in the Middle East. Saturday, airstrikes were sent to Kobani, Syria, following a week of increased fighting. Between Friday and Saturday, the U.S. carried out 15 airstrikes on the ISIS soldiers. Syrian Kurds sent intelligence to the U.S. about ISIS's location. The U.S. government, however, thinks this is still not enough. As ISIS moves in on Kobani to claim it as a land of their own, more defense is needed. Currently, ISIS is being pushed back and troops in Syria are holding their own in defense. Now, Golden Corral is a southern restaurant known for its all-you-can-eat options and good service. One Florida resident vows to never return. Billy Wilson, a Cape Corral resident, was eating chili at his local Golden Corral this week when he bit into the head of a rat. After realizing what it was, he spat it out and told the manager. 
After feeling sick the next day, Billy rushed himself to the hospital where he was then treated for muscle spasms and food illness. The restaurant said it is unsure how the incident happened and is looking into it further. Well, that's all for your world news this week. Let's send it back to the desk. Don't go away. Still to come, Hunter Wolf has your homecoming game forecast. And Alexis Hilliard has the scoop on all the exciting events happening this homecoming weekend. Here in the Cumberland Valley, but that's about to change. Let's take a look at your weather for the next few days. Tonight, you can expect partly cloudy skies and a low of 44. Friday is shaping up to have more sunshine than we've seen all week. We're going to see mostly sunny skies and a high of 62 for the day. Friday night is going to be partly cloudy with a low of 43. Low 60s during the day and mid 40s at night seems to be the trend we're going to follow into the weekend. Let's take a look. Saturday will be mostly sunny with a high of 64 and the evening will be partly cloudy with a low of 46. Sunday is going to be sunny with a high of 60 and the evening will be mostly clear with a low of 40. As we look ahead to the week, we can see that the great weather is going to stick around a little longer. Monday is going to be sunny with a high of 65 for the day and Monday evening will be partly cloudy with a low around 45. Tuesday will be much the same, but we're going to see the temperature get to as high as 70 for the day. There will be a low of 43 for the evening. Get outdoors while you can because it doesn't look like this weather is going to stick around. This Saturday, Shippensburg faces off against Cheney University in its homecoming football game at noon. Again, the weather should be gorgeous, so come out to support the Red Raiders. It's promising to be a great game. That's all your weather for the week. Now we're going to talk with Alexis, who has the latest scoop on pop star Taylor Swift. this weekend with two music acts coming to campus for homecoming. The Beach Boys will be performing Saturday evening at the Lord Center, while Big Sean will be, at, will be playing at the Cub in PR. The Beach Boys perform at 7.30 p.m., and Big Sean's concert is from 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. Tune in next week for our exclusive interview with the rapper. If concerts aren't your thing, tonight at 9 p.m., a lip sync contest will be held at Memorial Auditorium in celebration of homecoming week. For more details on all of the homecoming events this weekend, visit ship.edu and check out the university calendar. Switching gears to national entertainment news, fashion designer and icon Oscar De La Renta passed away on Monday at the age of 82. De La Renta has dressed every first lady since Jackie Kennedy. His creations were also a fixture on the red carpet, dressing celebrities from Oprah to Anne Hathaway and most recently, George Clooney's wife, Amal Alamuddin. A fifth season of American Horror Story was confirmed due to record viewership. More than 10 million people dedicate their Wednesday nights to the freak show. The highly sought after revival of classical supernatural sitcom, Bewitched, has found a new home on NBC. The original series starring Elizabeth Montgomery as Samantha aired from 1964 to 1972. The new rendition will be produced by Sony TV and Lucy Fisher and Douglas Wick's Red Wagon Entertainment, the same team behind the 2005 Bewitched movie featuring Nicole Kidman and Will Ferrell. The new version of Bewitched is reimagining the original series two generations later. There's no word yet on when production will begin. Barbara Walters is returning to ABC this December for the annual list of the top 10 most fascinating people. Scarlett Johansson, Oprah Winfrey, Chelsea Handler, and Neil Patrick Harris are just a few names to top the list. Walters announced a partial retirement earlier this year after exiting The View. She has been working on television news for more than 50 years. The annual special will air Sunday, December 14th at 9 p.m. on ABC. If you are a Taylor Swift fan, you'll be excited to hear the full track list of the album 1989 has been released. Swift also has released a mashup based off of her second single, Out of the Woods, in The Lion King's Circle of Life. Simpsons fans can rejoice. Cable network FX announced Tuesday that Simpsons World, a streaming website app, lets fans watch any of the 552 episodes whenever they want. 
Fans will be able to watch via the Simpsons World app on multiple platforms or at simpsonsworld.com. There is a catch, though. Fans must have a subscription to FX from their cable provider. I just want to give a big good luck to everyone this weekend on the homecoming court, including SUTV's very own Emily Larson and Lucy Davis. SUTV would also like to extend the special good luck to the football team. All right, that looks like all we have here for entertainment today. Back to you guys at the desk. Still to come, Ship Sports has a Hall of Fame and homecoming weekend all in one. Sports is next. Tomorrow, SHIP's Athletic Hall of Fame will induct seven new members. Christine Chang, swimming, Kelly Clemens, tennis, Jack Connor, football, Randy Lowe, track and field, Todd Melisowskis, baseball, and Nikki Hofacker for volleyball make up the six former student athletes to be inducted, while former football head coach Rocky Reese is the lone coach to be inducted this year. Monday, field hockey goalkeeper Allie Mooney was named the PSAC Field Hockey Athlete of the Week. Mooney totaled 16 saves in two wins last week. She now has 43 saves in 12 starts in her first season with the Raiders with just eight goals against her. Let's check out some ship scores with this week's Raider Roundup. Yesterday, field hockey edged Kutz down 2-1 at home. The reigning national champs are now 11-2 on the season. They'll face Mercyhurst on Saturday. Like field hockey, men's and women's soccer also finished with 2-1 scores yesterday when they traveled to Lockhaven. The men got goals from the two Derricks. Derek Roy and Derek Adams each scored in the 2-1 ship win. The ladies, however, were edged by the Bald Eagles of Lockhaven. Bloomsburg will come to ship on Saturday to face both soccer teams. Volleyball will play Westchester tomorrow night at 7 right here in Highgate's Fieldhouse. The Raiders also have a pair of home matchups on Saturday. It's going to be a weekend full of ship sports. And what about that football team? Well, Saturday the Red Raiders take on the Cheney Wolves for this year's homecoming game. Ship hopes to get back to its winning ways after falling 55 to 28 against Westchester last weekend. Westchester beat Shippensburg in last year's homecoming game 32 to 29. In 2012, Ship beat LIU Post 36 to 20. In the 2011 homecoming game for Coach Mack's first year at the helm, the Red Raiders upset number 12 ranked Kutztown in a 49 to seven route. The last time Shippensburg played Cheney for homecoming was 2010 when it won 50 to nothing for the school's 400th NCAA win. Cheney has never beaten Ship in 15 tries and has only scored 46 points against the Red Raiders since 2008. That being said, it's homecoming. There's going to be a red out, and many assume the Red Raiders will in fact win on Saturday. You can see how it all pans out courtesy of SUTV Sports. Tune in right here on Campus Channel 82 or Local Channel 21. You can also stream our live coverage online at ship.edu slash go Raiders. And that's all I have to say about that. So I'm going to let my friends at the desk say good night to you all at home. That's it for me, Holly and the Quan. The floor is yours. That's it for SUTV News. I'm Holly Hare. And I'm Laquan Chapman. Be, for, be sure to follow us on Twitter and Instagram at SUTV News and like our Facebook page. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.